Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Michael, helping you get the most out of your Apple devices. And today I wanna to talk about iOS 12 Developer Beta 8 and how the performance has been on my main phone, my iPhone 10. So as you may know, I've been running iOS 12 Developer Beta 8 uh, since it came out. I always make a video whenever a new beta comes out. And um, since that day where I installed Beta 8, I have been using it uh, nonstop on my uh, main device. I don't think I have used my phone for a single full day um, on iOS 11 since you know iOS 12 Beta 1 came out. So I have been experiencing every beta and the performance of every beta uh, since Apple first talked about it at WWDC. So uh, on iOS 12 Beta 8 here, I know I, I feel like I say this on every follow-up video on a new beta, um, but this really is starting to feel like a gold master release of iOS 12. Uh, everything that Apple talked about with you know more power to you and the efficiency and how it says it's designed to make your iPhone experience faster and more responsive, that really is true. And you know, comparing it to the dumpster fire that iOS 11 was, this really is a breath of fresh air. I know that sounds kind of cheesy, but it really is compared to, you know, last year and the, all the bugs and stuff we had uh, throughout the betas and the initial release of iOS 11. Uh, you know, it feels like we have no bugs. It's so smooth and this is still on a beta firmware. So uh, I, want, I want to talk about one thing that I do, you know, day to day. I open up Twitter a lot. I open up Twitter about me a hundred times a day. And um, I was testing out another iPhone 10, my brother's iPhone 10, opening up the Twitter application. And I did notice something, um, you know, whenever you love the Twitter application, it shows the logo and then it kind of bounces toward you. That logo shows for about an extra two seconds on his iOS 11.4.1 uh, iPhone 10, And um, it just seems like Apple's doing a lot of performance enhancements in the background uh, for the software and for the efficiency to optimize that uh, A11 Bionic chip inside the phone. So it might just be the placebo effect, but I really don't think it is because we are seeing some significant improvements to the Geekbench scores uh, here on the iPhone 10. So I remember in the keynote, Apple was talking about things like uh, when you bring up the share sheet right here, uh, also when you bring up the camera from the lock screen, and a few other examples they gave us, they say uh, it can be up to two times faster, 1.5 times faster. So just those little tiny experiences uh, that you use throughout the UI uh, on your phone every day, um, those half second experiences where you hit a button and it kind of lags for a little bit, if Apple can take those away from the UI experience, that is gonna help uh, significantly as those times add up throughout the day as you use your phone. So uh, I really am noticing that and it seems like Apple is really, really uh, perfecting that and it, they're staying true to their word that even the newer phones are gonna benefit from this uh, you know, faster, fluid, uh, responsive UI. So um, if you want me to make a video on iOS 12 on an older device, I can. I think the oldest device I had brought with me on my vacation is an iPhone SE. So if you want me to make a video on uh, iOS 12 beta 8 on an iPhone SE, I will. So tell me in the comments down below. Uh, other than that, guys, I am very, very happy with iOS 12 here on my iPhone 10. I am actually really happy to see what iOS 12 beta 9 brings and also the GM release. Uh, one thing that I keep forgetting is that the Gold Master release of iOS 12 is also going to bring new wallpapers. So you guys do have that to look forward to. And uh, when it does uh, get released, I will be the first one to tell you guys. So uh, stay tuned. Follow me on Twitter and share my videos. Uh, just a quick thank you. We are at uh, 10,123 subscribers. Uh, that's insane. I just hit 10,000 and now we already got an extra 123 people that joined the uh, iPhone update team and they want to know uh, what's going on with uh, the latest betas and all the Apple news. So uh, thank you so much for subscribing. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, my name is Michael. I'll see you in the next video.